It's the 2019 Bike versus Bus versus Car Race. This year, a cyclist, a bus rider, a car driver, and a ride sharer will race from Furman University to City Hall in downtown Greenville. So we are at the front gates of Furman. We are waiting for the bus to arrive so that we can all start the race. This seven mile race will raise awareness of alternate forms of transportation as we partner with the David E. Shy Center for Sustainability at Furman. Three contestants will depart from the bus stop at Furman University's front gate. My drivers are gonna be here for another eight minutes and the bus is already here. Hannah boarding Green Link's Route 503 bus will serve as the starting flag. Kelly Grant and her bike will start where Furman University intersects with the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Wes can choose his route to City Hall, but he and his Honda Civic must obey all traffic laws. Laura will book a trip using a rideshare app, and the driver must obey all traffic laws and follow the route provided by the app. We're going, yeah. I'm actually really relaxed. I mean, we uh, are in front of the car, so that's really good. He had his sweatbands on and everything, but there's no chance. And we are leaving campus now. I've got my wristbands on. I've got my rally cap on. Got my water bottle to stay hydrated. We're in the lift and we're going. Hopefully we can catch up to the bus in less. When I first moved here, I had uh, a beach cruiser and that's just not what you need on the Swamp Rabbit. Uh, so this bike makes me a lot faster. It's a lot easier on my legs. We're stuck behind the bus right now for a second. Kelly Grant's a pretty good bike rider, but the Swamp Rabbit Trail, it's a long way to go. There's the 503. Here we go. Passing now. Oh, there she is. There's Hannah right there. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. We're going to win. We're going to win. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Blue lights ahead. Blue lights ahead. <laughs> oh, no. It's 8.04. <laughs> and we haven't even yet made it to the Cherrydale intersection, <laughs> and I see blue lights ahead. This okay. is trouble. Oh no, hopefully Kelly Grant saw some squirrels or something to <laughs> look at, or groundhogs, and is uh, enjoying her morning exercise. Wes, the car driver, is super competitive, uh, and so are the folks that are riding with him. So there's definitely some some pressure there. It's 8.06, mm -hmm. and we're at the Cherrydale intersection. This is always one of the log jams, every single morning. I don't know, Kelly Grant's making up some serious time on this road. Here she is. Hey, Dad. Yep, I am on the bus. Hannah's got it pretty good, though. She's in the bus. Uh, she doesn't have to watch the road like I do. She doesn't have to have her hands on the wheel. She's probably like reading the paper right now. Oh, she's doing her crosswords. She's doing her crosswords. Checking her email. Mm -hmm. Maybe just There's Wi Fi on the bus. Oh, oh man! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, this is it. This is where we lose all the trouble. time. We're in trouble. We are, are in serious trouble right now. I was feeling so confident. Ugh. Kelly Grant is getting all of her exercise right now on the bicycle. I'm in the sedentary, just sitting here, mm -hmm. stressed out. I'm angry sometimes. <laughs> I'm anxious. Wes must park in the Poinsett garage and walk to the finish line in front of City Hall. What do we think? I'm confident. Walk faster. I'm walking. I'm walking. This is how I walk to work. Okay, walk faster. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're going to win it. No, the car won again. <laughs> Laura can be dropped off in front of City Hall and walk to the finish line. Kelly Grant must secure her bike to a bike rack in front of City Hall and walk to the finish line. Oh. Hannah must get off the bus at the Green Link Transit Center and walk to the finish line in front of City Hall. This is like the amazing race. Oh, everybody's there already. 
hoping that folks realize that we are really lucky to live in Greenville where we do have some options for public transportation. Uh, we have options for biking to lots of places in the county because of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Uh, so if you can get out of your personal vehicle and get into another alternative mode of transportation, uh, it's, it's really a good thing to do, not only for your health, but for the environment. Thank you.